Hey guys, Bruce Snickers here coming in with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my Diamond Dynasty squad for MLB 15 The Show. First, I'll be showing you my record, which is 127 and 121. I played 100, not 124, 248 games. So I'm over 500 and over 100 wins. Uh, I guess I can show you my uniforms also and everything else. My team name is the Buffalo Wild Wings because that's one of my favorite restaurants and I couldn't really think of anything else. So there's my home uniform, my away uniform. Let's see if I can show you. That's my away uniform. All right, let's show me my squad now. I got requested to do this video. I did one uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. But my squad has definitely changed now. We got Tom Seaver, number one pitcher. There's the stats: 80 strikeouts, so over 62 innings pitched, 1.87 ERA, six wins, two losses, 11 games pitched. We got the knuckleball pitcher Phil Necro, 31 strikeouts, 1.71 ERA, 42 innings pitched, five and two. You Darvish, 102 strikeouts with 69.1 innings pitched, 2.73 ERA, 14 games pitched, and 6 wins, 7 losses. Sonny Gray, 47 strikeouts, over 43 innings, 2.72 ERA, 10 games, 3 and 4. And it's getting difficult to read everything, but here's Nolan Ryan's stats. Alright. The lineup, we got Robin Yount at shortstop. I've had Robin Yount for a long time, as you can see, for 181 games. Uh, I've been going through a lot of shortstops recently, but I'm sticking with Robin Yount because he works very well for me. 288, 51 RBIs, 20 home runs, 30 stolen bases. Carlos Gonzalez is my right fielder against righties. Uh, I put Mike Trout in against lefties because Mike Trout sucks against righties for me. He sucks against lefties for me too, but he's just really bad for me in this game. I don't know why. Uh, 324 average, 31 RBIs, 7 home runs, 50 games played for me. We got my created player. As you can see, his stats are right there. I'm trying to get him 99 everything, but I don't I don't like wasting cards to train my created player. But he's 6'10", 290 pounds. He's a big guy. Oh, I don't even share his stats. Uh, 336, 36 RBI, 7 home runs, and 103 games played. Uh, he was a pitcher at one point, but I made him my catcher, switch hitter, because I couldn't find a catcher that I liked. We got my third baseman, who is Fred McGriff. He can't even play third base, but he's playing third base anyways, because he's a beast for me. 296 average, 29 RBIs, 9 home runs, 46 games played. I recommend getting him if you can afford him. It's pretty good. And then we got Ted Williams, 339 average, 38 RBIs, 12 home runs, 64 games played. Another guy I recommend getting if you can afford him is Ben Zobris. Oh, I recommend Carlos Gonzalez too. Ben Zobris, switch hitting, he can hit, play it at a lot of positions. Switch hitter, not switch hitting. 327 average, 5 RBIs, 2 home runs, played in only 18 games for me. I do recommend him. He's a clutch hitter if you want him, and you can put him at practically any position in the outfield, and you can put him at shortstop. Then we got Yoannis Cespedes. Oh my gosh, 98 arm strength and 84 fielding. I mainly have this guy for his fielding and his power. He's batting 308, six RBIs, three home runs, and 16 games. I replaced him with Mike Trout, so obviously he's pretty good. His freaking arm strength is phenomenal. Uh, Edgar Martinez is my first baseman. I recently had Joey Votto, and I also recently had Chris Davis, but Edgar Martinez is working all right for me. No home runs yet, but 281 average, 4 RBIs, and only 12 games played with 32 at-bats. All right, I guess I'll show you my bench right now. I'll give you the whole tour of my team and maybe even my card collection. We got Ozzy Smith. 269. He was my shortstop switch hitter, but I replaced him with Yount. Johnny Bench, he actually plays third base for me against lefties, replacing Fred McGriff. Jose Altuve plays his... plays his... He plays... No, he doesn't actually play against me for lefties. 
Mike Trout plays against lefties. See how bad he is, though. I don't. I don't know why he's so bad for me, but he plays right field against lefties. And then finally, we got Aroid. I mean, Arod. Uh, 333 average, 18 RBIs, six home runs, and probably not on drugs, even though he probably is. All right. Anyways, uh, Dennis Eckersley is my long relief pitcher. He kind of sucks for me. Every time I put him in, he gives up a home run. But whatever. Uh, sorry for this video being kind of long, by the way. I just want to give you the full tour. Uh, we got Wade Davis. That hasn't given up a run for me yet. Jake McGee. Andrew Miller. Dylan. Oh my gosh, look at his ERA for Dylan. 0.49. Uh, Sean Doolittle. Used to be my closer, but then I got Chapman to replace him. He's got eight saves for me. All right, uh, I'll show you a quick run through through all my players. Here's all my gold pitchers and uh, diamond. Uh, I've never used Felix Hernandez, and I probably won't. All right, here's all my relief pitchers. Nothing too phenomenal. My closing pitchers got some golds in there that I'll probably never use because I like the bullpen the way it is right now. Catchers I won't ever use because I got my created player, and I can't sell them because I completed the sets. Uh, first basemans that I might use because Iger Martinez is kind of slowing down for me and I like lefty hitters. Joey Votto didn't really work though. On my second basemans, I played Rod Crew for a while, but he was kind of slacking, so I replaced him with Ben Zobrist. There's all my second basemans, my third basemans. Alright, I'm going to show you something kind of that'll hurt you. Uh, that sounded really weird. But look at his average. This hurt me because these guys can't play for some reason. Even worse, .62. I mean, I spent so much money on them, and then they can't even play. So I had to replace them with uh, Fred McGriff. Uh, my shortstops. My left fielders. I got Ralph Kiner, Cliff Floyd, Joe Carter. Andrew McCutcheon, who absolutely sucks for me too. Batting under 100. Uh, and then finally, right field. There's all my right fielders. And yeah, he's 99 in every position. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. This is my Diamond Dynasty squad. Uh, if you have any requests, leave them in the comments for a video you want me to do. Because uh, I'm kind of running out of ideas and I don't really have a lot of time to make compilation videos anymore. But yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support. And subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks.